Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm going to be making a never-ending card. And it's a card that you can flip four different ways, and then you come back to the beginning. So, what you're going to need is some patterned paper. I'm going to be using um, Retro Prints, and my other colors are from the jeweled colored cardstock stack and the brights. So I used two sheets of cardstock. I chose um, this yellowish green color which is from the brights and the light blue from the jewels. So and what you do is you cut it to um, an 8 by 8 square and then you cut it again. So you're going to end up with four strips of paper and they each measure four inches by eight inches. So you just need to get those ready. And then the other things you're going to need are your pattern papers. And the sizes I did these were three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. And I have, let's see if I can move the camera. I have eight of those in total. So two of that color, two of that color, two of the stripes and two of the flowers. Then you're going to need four of these, and they are one and three quarters by three and three quarters. So four of those total. And then your little squares of paper, you need 16 of these. So again, you can pick um, whatever colors you want. So I did two of each, and then I repeated the dots and did four of those ones. So that's what you need to get ready. And um, we'll get started. My phone is due to ring any minute now, so we'll just work until that happens. Um, with these four by eight sheets, what you need to do is score them. So you just use a scoring blade. I've already done mine, so I'll just get a, another sample piece and show you what I mean. I have um, just a scoring blade in here and what you need to do is score it down the middle and then score it again here and again here and the measurements are at two inches. So because it's four inches wide we're going to score it at two and that'll put it right in half and then you do each end and go in two inches. So do that with all four pieces of your cardstock and what that does is it just allows you to bend um, the paper easier and makes a cleaner line. So now you take those four pieces of paper and you lay two of them this way and then you take the other two and lay them in the opposite direction. Okay, And once you score you're gonna see that there's it might be hard to see on here, you're gonna see that there's um, a little square in the corner where it was scored so what you need to do is now glue all those four corners down. So you glue these corners, these ones, these ones, and these ones. And just make sure you've got these papers going this way and the other ones going the other way. Okay, so we're just going to glue those four corners. And just make sure you glue these really well because this is um, what's holding the whole card together. So if you glue these down nicely, then it will stay because like you saw these cards flip and fold and um, in every direction and people like to play with them. So just make sure you've got it glued down nicely for them. Make sure it's lined up really well. I'm going to glue these corners.
sure they're nice and neat in the corner. And the reason that I get you to trim your paper um, three and three quarters instead of four by four is so that when you put your paper down, it leaves this little edge, makes like a little frame, like on this finished one here. You can see the actual colored card underneath it. So it just gives it some more, um, I don't know, dimension, having a little bit of frame. And also when you're flipping the card, it's just nice because it's not going to get caught in the seams. So now we have our card. So what, you, what you're going to do now is because you've just glued it and see when you start to open it, you have to um, press the paper down and get it used to being folded in all the different directions. So just make sure you push down on your seams because when you first open it, it's going to be rounded. It's going to start trying to pull away from the glue. So you just have to flip it open in all the directions that the card is going to move. And then open it up in the next way and see it's all rounded. And that's why we score it because that just helps make these seams nice and crisp. And then we're back to the beginning with the yellow. Or back to the end, depending on which way you're looking at it. So there's your card. So you just, and the more we work with it and the more we fold it, the easier it's going to flip. Because, like you see, once you get all your papers on and it's glued, it just flips nice and easy. Okay? So now get it back to the beginning where you wanted it. And now we're going to start gluing our papers. So, and just play with your design. Just kind of, you can make it up. What I do with these ones is I do those long strips there and then down at the bottom. So you can start, start gluing. So I'm going to start gluing. I'll get this page done and then flip it open and you keep going. So let's just glue this pretty quick. You can use any papers. I did these at Christmas and used all wintry papers. I did some winter themed ones and some Christmas and tree themed ones. They turned out pretty cute. Those ones I actually inked the, um, the edges of the papers. These ones I'm not going to do. This part goes pretty quick. If you have all your papers pre-cut, your paper ready to go, it goes fast. I find the longest part of this project is the embellishments and trying to figure out what you want to put on there. You do flowers and stuff. So I have no idea what occasion I'm going to use this card for, but I just figured these papers are kind of pretty. And there's my phone call. I'm going to continue to glue and I'll be right back.